Every week I invest $55 in two M1 Finance investment portfolios, and today I'm gonna to be showing you how I raised it over the last quarter. Hi everyone, this is Camilla the Focus Spender, and welcome to my channel where I teach you how to get out of debt, save more money, and invest so that you can build wealth and leave a lasting legacy. So to give you a quick primer on M1 Finance, M1 Finance is a free investment platform that you can use to build diverse portfolios. So you create a pie of different stocks that you want, and then you set your investments on a recurring cycle so that every week or every month you are investing in a number of different stocks. So I have two portfolios. I started my first portfolio in November of 2018 with $500. From there, I invested $15 a week and at some point I bumped it up to $30 a week. That portfolio has 15 stocks. Now my second portfolio I started pretty recently in December of 2020 with $1,000 and I invested in 11 stocks. So not quite apples to apples, but I'm gonna be doing a comparison to see which portfolio did better. So let's go into my portfolio. So now we're in my M1 Finance account and I'm going to switch this to quarter so we can see how it did over the last quarter. As you can see, my value went up and up and up with a few dips along the road as to be expected for like the days when the market was down. And so if we go down and we look at my top performing stocks, you'll see that over the last quarter, Nike, Target, and Pfizer were my top three stocks. And then AT&T, Alibaba, and Canopy Growth Company were my lowest performing stocks. So now let's look at my second portfolio and we're gonna change this to one quarter. So this is the last three, one, three months from May through August. And if we filter my top performing stocks are Peloton, Chewy, and Facebook. And my lowest performing stocks for the last quarter, PetMed, ExxonMobil, and Container Store. But as you can see, the losses were not high. Now let's look at the actual overall. So overall in the last quarter, I made $375.42 in gains, and that's split between market gain of $354 and earned dividends of $20.75. And if you wanna understand what dividends are, be sure to watch my video, and it's about the difference between dividend and growth stocks. Portfolio number two had a gain, had gains of $92.31 over the last quarter, $79.59 in market gains, and $12.72 in earned dividends. So obviously because portfolio number one is a higher portfolio with $5,299 and, and portfolio number two is a portfolio of 2,145, you're gonna assume that it's obvious that I'm gonna have higher gains in the first portfolio because there's just more money, there's more stocks, there's more activity. But when we look at percentages, that is how I'm gonna compare who is doing better. So portfolio number one, for this quarter had gains of 7.92%, while portfolio number two had gains of 4.87%. So portfolio number one is the winner because it had overall higher returns. And when you look at the actual companies that performed well in portfolio number one, these are just larger companies overall with Nike, Target, and Pfizer doing really, really well having double digit gains for the last quarter and that really helped buffer out the losses that I had with these five companies, Home Depot, Disney, AT&T, Alibaba, and Canopy Growth Company. So that's why I really like this portfolio. I like both of my portfolios actually, but that's why I like using M1 Finance because if I was just invested in these stocks individually, I probably would be panicking. Like I'd be excited that Nike was doing well, but then I'd be stressing out that Home Depot is down for the quarter when Home Depot is still a really solid company. And if you wanna build your own M1 Finance portfolio, be sure to click on the link in the description box below so that you can open an account today. Also, I'm gonna be leaving the exact links to my portfolio so you can see my full 15 stocks in portfolio number one and my full 11 stocks in portfolio number two. And I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you next time. Thanks, bye-bye.